The city of Philadelphia prides itself on nearly 350 years of history. And so it is particularly delightful for Donald Nally as he watches audiences pack the ancient square pews that once hosted George Washington to now hear The Crossing performed during Month of Moderns, where the ink is still drying on the scores of many of the world premier choral works. He would have it no other way. Donald's first love is choral music, and he has crafted a career that reflects his omnivorous tastes. Having directed choirs at the collegiate level, led several significant professional church music programs, helmed a major symphonic chorus with a professional corps, served as chorus master for both the Welsh National Opera and the Lyric Opera of Chicago, and conducted several professional chamber choirs. But his second first love is new choral music, and so The Crossing, now in its seventh year, embodies his passion more wholly than any previous ensemble. A professional chamber choir dedicated to performing new music is a risky endeavor, which is why the 16 founding singers and Donald believed it would be just for their own personal musical nourishment and discovery. You know, every time I get a uh, packet of music from Donald, and I know it's, it's an upcoming concert, and I get, I get that packet, it's, I'm waiting for it like it's Christmas morning, because I know that he spent, you know, his whole year digging to the center of the earth to find this great music that like totally enhances all of our lives. But word got out. The Crossing has attracted significant critical acclaim, sizable capacity building grants from Philadelphia funders, and a robust and loyal audience. The singers are paid competitively for every rehearsal and performance. The Philadelphia Inquirer placed their performance of Erich Eschenwald's commissioned premiere during Month of Moderns as number two on the best classical events list of 2011. They have released two recordings and two more are on the way this year. All the while, the group has been run by the musicians and volunteers in a very collaborative, very democratic environment. While we might call this evidence of innovative action and entrepreneurial zeal, Donald Nally sees it more simply. What we do is sing honestly. <laughs>